wrote Silver Sparrow as a gift to my older sister. She's 12 years older than me, and we did not know each other when we were growing up because we have the same father, but we have different mothers. We actually grew up across the country from each other. So all my life, I felt like I had a sister and I didn't have a sister. And this book, Silver Sparrow, the story of you know two sisters connected by a father, but with different lives, this was my gift to her. And I wrote it, I thought this is really my favorite of my novels because it is my most personal. And when I wrote it, I was actually at a very, very dark place in my career. I had published two novels. I was proud of them, as anyone would be, and I felt really honored to be able to publish and do my life's work. But I was dropped by my publisher because I wasn't making enough money for them. And I was devastated that there was a book program called BookScan where they could type your name in and it would tell them, give them a number as to your value. The value of your work has been reduced to units sold. And I was about three quarters of the way through Silver Sparrow, but I kept writing it because I'm a teacher, I teach writing. And I tell my students that you write a book, not for a market, a publisher, an agent. You write it because your heart calls you to write it. So how could I face my students if I was allowing some computer program to make me abandon the most personal book of my life? So I just kept writing it. I just kept my mind and heart on my sister and I kept writing the book. And then the most amazing thing happened. Picture this. I went to a book festival. I was embarrassed because like I said, I had been dropped by my publisher. My earlier works were out of print. But I had accepted the invitation and I'm not the type of person to be a no-show. So I gave my reading and a woman came to me and she said, I think I could help you. I didn't know who she was. And honestly, I was a bit apprehensive. I didn't know her. You meet some strange people at festivals. I'm just saying. So. The woman led me through the crowd and she put my hand in the hand of a publisher. And again, I was apprehensive because I thought the, the publisher would just, you know, use her computer program and decide that I wasn't valuable enough. But the publisher said to me as I was leaving, before you go, she said, tell me, how do you know Judy? And I said, I don't know anyone named Judy. And she said, no, 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 I mean Judy Bloom, who just introduced us. It was as though my nerdy childhood had come to rescue me in my time of need. And that was on a Friday. And by Monday, I had a publisher for Silver Sparrow. So I think of it as such a gift. I feel that this book was meant to be in the world. And it also taught me something. My students sometimes, when I tell them this story, they say, oh, you see, professor, this just goes to show it's just who you know. But I tell them, no, it's about completing your work and following your heart. Had I not followed my heart and completed my work, I would not have had anything to give when Judy Bloom introduced me to a publisher. So my takeaway from that is always, when it comes to art, follow your heart. You know the work you're meant to do. When you do your part, doors will open by themselves.